you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate video, guys. And today we got the brand new Legends on Legend Saturday. Now, guys, quick little tips before we get into this video. It is Legend Saturday, so you guys do want to take advantage of all the down press. I do have a market talk coming out probably after this video later today. So guys, keep in touch with that because market market is down. Like the market has crashed completely, and Legend Fantasy Packs and Legend Saturday should only make things worse. So if you guys are ever, if you guys have your coin stack, like I've been saying save. Today is the day to buy. There is a new Munoz and Ted Hendricks as of today, and if you guys want any legends like Jerry Rice, Steve Young, Mark Allen, Mel Blunt, Willie Brown, Derek Brooks. I don't know if I said Jerry Rice, Reggie White. These are the times to get them, like Kalil Max 150. Today is the day to buy. Legend Fantasy Pack should only make things worse. And as far as these legends go, I would recommend Munoz today. But I wouldn't recommend selling the players you have in replacement of these cards. Like if you get Munoz, would I recommend selling Joe Staley? If you have him, probably not, because the prices are crazy down. I'd keep whatever card you have till probably Monday. Wait till after weekend league rewards and things should come back up a little bit, I'd imagine, by next week. So I'd probably wait a little bit because Bo Jax has officially killed everything. Now, guys, if you are new to the channel, Make sure to go down below and smack the sub button. We're so close to 7K. Maybe we can hit it today. Maybe we can hit it by tomorrow. Just smack it and we'll see how things go. Now, turn on the notifications to get notified every time I post a brand new video, boys. And let's get this video. It is a content video, so let's get it to 100 likes and that makes me more than happy. Now, guys, let's get into this. So, the new legends today. Let's back out of Ultimate Team because we always got to do that to make sure everything updates. Now, if you guys know how Madden works, I bet you the bundle's out, but I bet you the set for the legends is not because as long as Madden has their hundred dollar bundle out they have no problem with making everything else everything everyone away for everything else so if we go down below and we go check it out let's see to the sets i bet you the legend set's not here of course it's not so legends the legend's not here the legend set's not here but i bet you the bundle's out let's go to the store as per usual hey hey look the legend fantasy bundle is here because they're never late on that now let's check the solo challenges for the new legends Let's see if the power-ups are at least here yet. Now, we do have, let's see, Legends Week 4. Of course they're not, because EA just wants, all they want is a bundle up. But guys, quick little recommendation. Ted Hendricks, as far as what I saw from the stats, they are not looking too hot, Ted Hendricks. Anthony Munoz, on the other hand, is looking pretty good. Anthony Munoz, is, they're both 90 overalls. Ted Hendricks is a left outside linebacker, if you don't know who he is. He's a very tall linebacker for the Raiders. Anthony Munoz is a left tackle, one of the best left tackles in the history of the NFL. So, he's definitely going to be worth it today. If you guys are going to pull packs, Munoz would be a great pull. Bo Jackson still isn't packed, so if you guys want to pull packs today, you can still get Bo Jackson. Devontae Adams and Desmond Trufant are out of packs, so don't be looking for them. You definitely want to be looking for the brand new legends. Let's come on over to the 9091s and see if they're in. They're here yet. They're definitely in packs. Just a matter of people pulled them yet. Let's see if we can find some lower set pieces. So, let's go to Program, Legends, and let's go down to like 80, 81. Let's see if we can get any brand new ones they're never really out right away but personal recommendation guys for today snipe these legend pieces out if you want Munoz and Hendrix do not get them today too expensive they're gonna be way too expensive day one they always are like that I would wait for next legend Saturday personal advice like I always wait for the next following legend Saturday for the last week's legends Lawrence Taylor went for 750k I waited a week and a half to the next legend Saturday or whatever or whatnot and I got him for 320 I'd always wait people get screwed that way but for this week, I wouldn't recommend Hendricks at all for a team. Like, I'm looking at his stats right here. I have it on my phone. His stats are mediocre, in my opinion. 81. I mean, 81 speed. He is 6'7, so that is a plus at outside linebacker. But I'd rather Mack and I'd rather Von Miller if I had to choose. Now, Ted Hendricks, I mean, Anthony Munoz is a great upgrade considering he is the best left tackle in the game. Anthony Munoz is up right here, so let's check him out real quick. 425,000 coins. Actually, already kind of cheap considering that's the first one. He's got 87 strength, by the way. He is six foot six, which is very tall. But I mean, linemen typically are pretty tall. He has 87 awareness, 90 pass block, 88 pass block power, 88 pass block finesse, 88 run block, 86 run block power, and 88 run block finesse. This is the best left tackle in the game. This is insane. His stats are really, really good. If you compare him, he blows away Staley. He's a way better pass blocker, which is huge for being a left tackle. He is a better run blocker, which again for a left tackle is pretty rare because not a lot of left tackles have really good run blocking. So this card overall is the best left tackle in the game by far he's got let's see what his speed 69 speed which is pretty decent he's got 76 excel decent good awareness awareness is huge for linemen let's see what else he's got let's see his lead blocking his impact blocking is an 85 which is really good i do run the ball a lot which i imagine a lot of you guys do 
So that's definitely a huge card. Now, let's see what his lead block is, which doesn't really matter because he has a left tackle. I don't know how many pulls really come with left tackles. He has a 85 lead block, which is really, really good. I really do love this Munoz card, guys. A good recommendation for this Munoz card would be to get his power-up card, which you can get for free from the solos. Remember that. For people who are no money spent and really have patience to actually play the solos, go play the solos. Get Anthony Munoz. You can also sell them. That's a pretty good coin method right now. You just, the second the Legend solos come out, you play them, and you can sell their Legend power for like 10, 15K, which is pretty good. If you do this every week, you get two of them. You can probably make like 25K a week. There's already five weeks. You can probably make over 140K and just buying, getting their power up right away from the solos and selling them, depending on how good they are, right? Like, guys like Lawrence Taylor is going for like 20K right away. Now, if you want, you can get the power of Munoz from the solo, power him up to probably like an 88, and then you're going to have a pretty solid, if not the best left tackle in the game as a power up. So again, that is not bad at all. Now, let's refresh this here and see if we can find some Ted Hendricks. Ted Hendricks is now up too, so he does have... 81 speed he is six foot seven so six foot seven is pretty huge considering he is an outside linebacker that is huge for user and for I guess getting some good ai picks but the issue with him is that he's kind of on the slower side and not as good as a pass rusher like him to be he does have really good block shed so this card will be a beast in the run the run, run defense he's got 83 excel 82 strength 87 tackle 89 play rec. but his power move and finesse move leave a lot to be desired now this card's like I want to be in a zone linebacker, but I also kind of want to be a pass rusher at the same time, but I'm not great at either. So he has a 63 catch. Let's see what his zone is. His zone kind of makes or breaks his card. His zone coverage is a 69. See what I'm saying? Like, it's like his speed, his, his play rec, and his height say, I want to be a zone linebacker, but he's not fast enough, in my opinion, or zo enough zone to be a zone linebacker. But then he's like, I want to be a pass rusher, but then his power and finesse move are too low. That's why I never liked Ted Hendricks cards. If you compare him to my Von Miller, Von Miller blows him away in my opinion. He's the same speed, strength is slightly better, same tackle, better play rec, same block shed, but then he has the power and finesse move to back it up. So that's why I think Von Miller is better. Don't get me wrong, this Ted Hendricks card is really good, but I don't think if I had to choose, like, outside I'm back, you either want him as a zone or, or a rush guy. Now, will there be cards like Leighton Vander Esch later in the year that are great zone? Yes. Would I rather him? Yes. Will there be eventually an outside linebacker that can do both? Yes, but at this point in the game, you kind of want one overpowered either. Now, again, Khalil Mack, he on paper is better than Khalil Mack, but again, because of the power and finesse move, I'd probably still rather take Mack, although Ted Hendricks is definitely a close second in terms of Mack. He's definitely a top three outside linebacker in the game, left outside, that is, but that's just because of the nature of not that many left outside linebackers. I'd still rather Von and Mack because Mack's more of a long-term option. Ted Hendricks will get more upgrades throughout the year, though, so you can definitely bank on the fact that you could use Ted Hendricks long-term. So he's not bad to power up. His height's definitely a big boost. Trust me, seeing a 6'7 monster in the field is definitely scary to throw to his side. But his speed, speed's not bad, right? For outside linebackers, not bad. But long term, I'd much rather have Von Miller or Khalil Mack. Now, let's see what their lower set pieces are going for so you guys can have an idea. Well, let's see what legend set pieces are going for in general. Lawrence Taylor's definitely down a little bit right there at 195. I mean, not down. I wouldn't say down, but he's definitely, they're, they're being posted, I should say. Definitely a lot of them being posted. Now, let's check out this. Let's see how these prices have been affected by the new packs let's update okay there we go let's see so marcus allen is going for mel blount mel blount is 171 straight hands 166 mark sounds 185 these cards are coming down already i highly recommend you guys start sniping these if i was you if you guys want any legends like they're coming down right now I highly recommend you take advantage of that steve young is 414 he was 380 before so hopefully it comes down a little bit more but guys i hope you guys did enjoy this content video i hope this helps you out i have a market talk video coming out shortly later today going over a lot of this on the market so you guys can know how to handle this i also have a top 10 most overpowered power up cards coming out which includes a lot of these legends so i highly recommend you guys check out both of those videos now one little thing i want to do before i get out of this video is to check the price of steve young by 49ers he is going for 414 he is up a little bit which is weird you think he'd go down but people are just opening these packs so hopefully within the next hour or so steve young starts coming down kind of want him on the team but i have to sell my homes and as you guys know with the way the game is right now Mahomes is very very cheap so it's kind of in debate of whether or not i'd recommend you buy cards today i wouldn't recommend you sell cards today Mahomes is too cheap for my for my blood right now but guys that is about it for the video if you guys did enjoy i hope you guys before i actually said before you before i say that before i say that guys take advantage today make sure you go over to legend sets after this video the second you watch the video go to legend sets and go to every new legend that you want and click on their top legend piece sit there just keep refreshing that's a good method to make coins you just sit there you can probably get them being posted for a lot because if they're going for like 150 right now 150k people are going to keep pulling them from the legend packs and they're going to keep undercutting people so you can probably get them for like from 150 to 120 which is 30k there and if you snipe a few others you can save a grand total of 60 to 70k if you just snipe them out for 10k each 
coming over like five cards. Trust me, I've done it. I got Lawrence Taylor for 100k cheaper the other day on Legend Saturday. Take advantage of that, boys. But that is it for the video. If you guys are new, make sure to smack the sub button. If you guys are new, we're almost close to 7k, so let's grind that out. Um, turn on the notifications to be notified every time I post a brand new video. Let's get this video to 100 likes. I'd greatly appreciate that, boys. If you're still loyal and you watch the videos every day, just like the videos. Helps my channel out a ton. Helps me grow tremendously. And also, comment down below if you guys like these new legends. And that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.